gonna look for a coffee shop. There's an old building. There's another church. Lots of churches. This one's a church of Ireland. Asian cuisine, maple leaf, Macaulay's, Easton's, a bookstore, Tony's takeaway. Well, there's O'Brien's there. Yeah, O'Brien's is there. It's a nice little street. Ulster Bank, they're on their way out. They're exiting the Irish market. Hardware store, Peter Smith. C. Delaney news agent. There's an old little shop. And here's Cooney's Cafe. We're gonna see if we can get in there. Okay, so we're gonna stop at Cooney's Cafe and order coffee and we'll have it sit here while we wait. So here's the. So this is a little diner here. Oh yeah, can I have a flat white with an extra shot? Yeah. And do you have soya lattes? Yeah. Yeah, no soya latte. And for outside, I'm just outside, yeah? Yeah, I'll pay for now. Thank you. We'll just be sitting outside or? All right. So nice. Daddy sits here with Okay, so uh, yeah, I saw your lattes arrived. It's a little shamrock on the top. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll give it a shot and see how it is. Mucho gusto. So now I'll just enjoy this. Uh, it's quarter past 11. I have 45 minutes till my tour starts at the Inescorte Castle. Okay, so I just had my latte, soy latte. It's very good. So we're back in the uh, the square here. Now we have just under a half an hour till the castle opens up. So just walk around a few shops here around here. There's deals, Holy Gold Restaurant, Golden City Chinese, watches. There's some butchers there, Wickham Brothers. Now there is a neat little shop here called Avenas. Here, it's giftware. It's crunchy, tiny, and all sorts of knickknacks. It's really neat. Now it's really tight. I don't know about going in there, but I'll see you around. Like, there's all sorts of stuff. And there's upstairs.
pictures. Has a bit of everything. Too many people in here to explore it, but if you're ever in Enniscordy, it's a nice little store to visit. There's another entrance way and exit way. This gives you an idea how big it is. It's, it goes up a couple of flare up floors. So as you go up, they have different stuff. And there's guns. Remember we got there before? And that's when we went down towards when we we're going up to walk up Vinegar Hill. And small little shops, community and information center. Casa de Gallo restaurant, cool shop, Mac and Travel, George's Hair Unisix Designs, established 1967, Reed's Half License. And there's the cathedral that we were at before we came in that way, remember? And then we went down. So this is coming full circle from where we started. So now I'm just gonna close it off here. Here's the, uh, here's the Slaney Street. I was gonna walk up and down it while we're waiting for the uh, castle to open up. Here's where the Umbrella Street is. So it's a nice little design. And when it's raining, it protects you a little bit, but when it's sunny, it keeps it cool. There's Murphy's Footwear, Shoe Shop, Copper Chimney. Huh? It's an Indian and Thai restaurant. Very interesting, very interesting. State Auctioneers. Sounds like a public house. Chemist, Macaulay's. Trophy place. Monica's hairstyles. Earthy Eats. It's only open Monday to Friday. And this place has been open forever. It's basically a chipper. And then here's where we go to. There's a hair. Hair barbers. Styles, and then the antique tavern it's a quaint little place I was in it once a few years ago but it don't, doesn't look like it's open anymore like the last time I went by it was looks closed and it looks all locked up so I don't know if they are maybe uh, comment if you know it's all closed up but it, it's a quirky little place And then we'll head back up. Here's the doors. So we'll just take you around the outside of the castle first. It's not open for another 10 minutes or so. Just see what we can see on the two sides. built in 1903 this part of it this is the original part of it another interesting fact it was a residence up until I think 1951 it was a family home of it was refurbished in uh, May 6 2011 Sporting Council. Two uh, cannons at the front. There's the uh, admission fees. 
six years for adults, five for seniors and students, children are 16 and four, and family up to 15. And then there's a saver purchase ticket where you get to uh, combine the two prices for this one in a 1798 center. There's an old anchor. There's a sign to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the first aerial flight across the Irish Sea from Godwick to Wales to Crane and Escorty by Dennis Corbett Wilson in 1912. And this plaque was unveiled by Councillor Jackson Owens, Chairman of the Inscorty Council Council, on April 22nd, 2012. And here's another, the right side of the castle. Goes all the way up. And here's the tricolor on the top. A couple of flags. Flying from it. And here's where we are in conjunction with the rest of the town. So there's the post office, and then there's all the way down is the bridge and the water, River Slaney. So now just wait till it opens up at 12. All right, it's uh, 12 o'clock, so let's go in and see. Hello. Hi, I Hi. was speaking to an ink Emmett yesterday. Was it Emmett? Emmett. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're so, the blogger model. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, very good. Excellent, Jeff. So I'm Thanks. just going to do the castle and I'll go to the 1798 center afterwards. Okay, perfect. Yeah, um, yeah. I've already done the town. I went up to Vinegar Hill this Great. morning. So. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely okay. weather. Uh, it's yeah. just perfect. We're looking, at our, we're looking at our best today. I think. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, do you so, need any help from us? Or? No, no, I don't think so. I just, uh, I'll just pay for the entrance fees, and the, there's one that you pay for both, yeah. right? I, I think you're okay if you're blogging. We we'll let this one pass. Just okay. don't say anything to anyone else, all right? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I'll give you the ticket for entry to the um, ah. center as if you've paid, and ah. we'll never know why the way. And the floor at the center, and anyway, yeah. Paul is there as well. Paul is okay. the other guy. Paul and Emmett, well. okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's your ticket, and all you do is present that when you go to the center, and it's Perfect. like you've paid for it here, and you're coming. Thank here. you very much. Okay. I, what I can do is actually maybe, maybe go upstairs to the roof, and you can work your way down. That'd and, be good. You know, and then we won't have to work, wonder what you know how quickly you're going through or something. Very like good. That, you know, so yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Jim. Which way do we go? Then? Uh, just this way. Very good. So ask me any questions you like about the castle. It's. Um, I know it was a family home up until what, 1950? Until 1950, from 1900 to 1950, it was converted into a family home. It's always been more or less an area for securing the Norman um, uh, uh, um, interests in Ireland, you know, and the, the, later on then a man called Sir Henry Wallop arrived and he took over yeah. the castle and built it up. The park we're in now is the park that was built in 1900. Okay. The extension has been onto the castle. But yeah. So that's what they sort of looked like. That's what they looked and like, yeah. That was being the original thing in twelve about twelve hundred. And then yeah. in eleven hundreds it was like yeah. wood and all that, right? Yeah, it was wood, yeah. First first work just to secure the area and then twelve hundred. And again, um, you know, fairly rough life actually for them in here, you know, it was cold and miserable and damp. The yeah. area around here was known as the Duffery, like and Dolph Tear at the Black Country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You probably know a lot of this. You've probably been munching around Wexford for a while now, have you? Yeah, I have been a few. Like, uh, I've done a few parts. There's still a few places I haven't been to, but I'm going to yeah. go to, like... Well, it's a great county, you know. Yeah. It, um, there's a, you know, so much of a, a history in it, first of all, but also fantastic beaches, great weather. Yeah, I'm going to go to Kirklow Beach. I haven't done that yet. I've been to the Bano Beach. Oh, right. Bano's nice. Um, yeah, Bano's And then Cullen's Town. And yeah. Kilmore Key and yeah, I've been to Tamon. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, it's uh, you're getting around, and the weather's been pretty good for you for most of the time. Yeah, the weather's been really nice. Yeah, yeah. These are all modern stairs, obviously. Yes. <laughs> the park below, believe it or not, dates back to the roaches. Okay. And that was designed. Um, that are the roaches good. the same family that did the uh, fairy carrig and all that? Because uh, it was no. roaches that were... Oh, right, okay. Not that I know of. I yeah. think these were mostly Enniscorthy focused. Yeah. And uh, they, um, they ended up, um, you know, just being very wealthy. 
And when one of the sons of the family um, met a lady from America, a, a father purchased the castle as a wedding present. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So, not nice at all, unfortunately, because it was in ruins. I Carthy around the corner would show you how bad the, the place was. But okay. They rebuilt the castle. They had the resources to build the castle, which was great, you know. Yeah. So this is the roof. This is the roof of the castle. So you got the tricolor. Yeah, what you see now up here on the roof mostly relates to the end of the six, end of the 1500s, 1600s. It's all sort of very Tudor look about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have a beautiful view there of St. Aidan's Cathedral as well. Yeah, I was there this morning. Were you? And right? I went yeah. to the uh, the Peace Park. Oh, lovely, yeah, no, that's very, very yeah. tranquil, you know. Um, that's uh, St. Mary's Church there, uh, Church of Ireland. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I didn't walk by there. Farmers um, Market down there as well. Yeah, I was there this morning, that's where, where I started. <laughs> I went all the way up to the top of Vinegar Hill there. Wow, well, gosh, well, you've your exercise done anyway. Yeah. Today, yeah. Well, that's. Last week I went to the top of Ben Nevis. So. Oh my gosh, right, yes. So. <laughs> it's a good view from here though. well trained. It's beautiful, yeah, it really is. And there's a lovely walk as well down by the river there, you know, just for, if you want to <laughs> yeah. do a flat walk for a change. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. There's the Wexford Wexford flags. We're going to have to replace those pretty soon. Yeah, they're so. getting... Getting a bit tattered. Well, they've been flying all summer, so... Yeah. Nice. And you got a lift all the way up to the roof. Lift all the way up to the roof. Great yeah. advantage then to us all actually. We're, yeah. You know, oh, right <laughs> and there's the bridge we took to go up to the top of the Shannon. And there's Tracy's Hotel. And then all the way up there. That's where we were this morning. Mm. Mm. Lovely mm. views. Lovely views on the top of Vinegar Hill. Yeah. Oh, I'd imagine. Yeah. 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 Was there many people up there? Probably. One. One, One lady with a pram. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 We have a colleague who lives up that direction, but I think she was off at Garth Brooks last night. So oh, she's yeah. probably yeah. off in state, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, to go up to Vinegar Hill. All right. Uh, so is that okay with that's you? Fine, that's, that's, around, you know, that's fine, that's perfect. That's fine because uh, we have bullet holes on the wall just opposite you there as you go down. Oh, yeah. Just to see there, they're from the Irish Civil War. Oh. So, yeah. So, as I said, the, the town itself is completely full of history. history. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was really a big part of the 1798 yeah. rebellion. Yeah, no, it, it's very much so. Yeah. You'll see the whole gory, grim history when you go over to the center. Yeah. Well, I read this the story about Father Murphy in that. Oh, yeah. That was an interesting read. Yeah, so tragic, you know. Such a, it was such grim times, you know. So yeah. Mm. Yeah, so if you, as you go in there, you'll see the um, story of Eileen Gray. She was a local architect. Yeah. And you've probably heard of her. And also then you have the uh, history of graffito art, because there's a lot of graffito art around the town. You might have seen some of the yeah. gable ends that got some nice images on them. And then you can have the first story is the vulture story, and then okay. you have the grand pharmacy as well. So you just let me know if you need any Thank you very much. So we've seen these on the walls, the three of them. Or you may have a 
Alex is I think great. She was an architect designer. And her claim to fame, I think a few years ago, one of her pieces of furniture sold for like millions and millions of euros. She was from 1878 to 1976. She's that's a good life. 98 years. Very modern design for the time, when you think about it. Very modern, eh? Very modern design. Doesn't really fit with the castle, I think, but it's she's a local celebrity of the area. Here's the old slits that they would be used for arrows to defend the castle. what a castle's grand room would be. It's a lot different than Johnstown Castle, which we were at last week. Stays long. Look at this little writing table. And old newspapers. 1914. Cigarette cards. Look at the magnifying glass there. Is used. So these are the muskets, bayonets, the Thompson machine gun. that are described on the wall. the lift that takes you up to the roof. Geez, that's an interesting push bike.
is trying to teach apprentices the skills that were handed down to him. But so far, no one has shown any great fondness for the work. As Paddy says, that's it. That's it was interesting that, that they, uh, because there's nobody to call it me, because I, I am the last of the poppers to attach to me. Penny Farthing Bicycle from the 1800s. Popular in the 1870s to 1880s, this was the first machine to be referred to as a bicycle. Its large front wheel provided high speeds. To mount the rider must first grasp the handlebar, place one foot on the peg above the black wheel, and the bicycle is then pushed forward and the rider jumps up onto the seat while continuing to steer and maintain balance. So that must have been interesting. These are kegs. These are nice looking kegs. It's funny, it says WK Stamp Market Square and Escorting. There's the stamps. Pub is up there. I wonder if it's in relation to that. Under different names of different beer houses, I guess. And then it explains the wall with all the different. Uh, um, industries of the past for Inniscorti. So if you come here, you can just take a look and each one explains a little bit of the history about it. And here's an old carriage. Horse drawn, obviously, with the, uh, this would be pulled up, attached to the horse. And inside, this is what it looks like. There's a remote in there, so I don't know if that's Probably for the TV, it's in the back playing in the background, but I don't think you'd use that to steer it or anything. But it's in very good condition, considering the age of it. And here. Inside the castle. Oh, I remember when we were talking about the, uh, the carvings on the wall. Very primitive of a, looks like a soldier defending the place. And they have a humidifier here trying to, it's damp a bit, as it would be, it's underground. But look at the, like this is very thick, thick stone that's been cast, that's been chipped away to make this. Souvenirs, and shirts, and baskets. Some Roman coins. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Do you know the way to the center now? Yes, I know where it is. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. okay. Thank you. No problem at all. Thank you very much. Bye.